with nine goals and ten assists already this season. The first half of the campaign done for Jaden Sancho at Borussia Dortmund. He's also flying for England. There's always talk about where he's going to go mm. next, which seems unfair, doesn't it, on Borussia Dortmund, but maybe realistic. Well, but I think it has also has to do with the fact that there's been a little bit of a falling out between him and Lucien Favre. There has been moments in which Jadon Sancho has not been first choice, not because there's a lack of talent, but because there may be some sort of miscommunication between the manager and the player. Uh, it points to the fact that maybe Jadon Sancho, well, he... He's one of these guys that maybe has to take care of the extracurricular activities before he takes care of what goes on in the field. There is a personality class here, and those usually don't end up very well. So let's say that he's on the move, and let's say that there are teams that are out there that want the services of Jadon Sancho because of the talents that you just mentioned. And now I assume that I have to put out this from 3 to 1 and, and try to give you what I think would be best for Jadon Sancho and the teams that need him the most. Is that correct? I think so. All right. Okay. i tell you what. We could all fall in love with the idea that this is about the Premier League because people get excited about the Premier League and it's Premier League centric. But I'm not Premier League centric because the world doesn't end at the Premier League. What about Juventus? See, I look at a team in Juventus that has a need for younger talent. Younger talent in positions of skill. Younger talent in positions that make a difference in the final third. So while Ronaldo is still scoring goals and Higuain is going to score goals and then you're going to get some from Dybala as well, you maybe need that other option, a guy that can break somebody down in a 1v1 situation, especially when Juventus is going to play mostly in their league against teams that are going to sit back because they're favored against just about everybody they play against. A guy like Jadon Sancho could break that space, could be the guy that the difference between breaking that space down, breaking somebody down, 1v1 situation, a pass, a goal, something that can make a difference for Juventus. I think the fit is actually quite nice, even though people may not think about it as Juventus as one of the top teams in going after uh, Jadon Sancho. So a little bit of outside the box thinking. Do you like that or do you not? I think so, yeah, because it would be a, a sort of a, a big statement from Juventus on the mm -hmm. board to say to Sari, well, here's a player who can play up front in the front three. Yes. You know, we haven't seen Sari Ball yet. No. <laughs> uh, Let's not go back to Sari Ball. Uh, okay. Let's never go to <laughs> Sari Ball anymore. Okay, but Jaden Sancho to Juventus, I could, I could see that as being pliable. Right. And so uh, then I think to myself, well, wh what are some of the needs that some of these teams have? And, I, and I'm thinking, what is PSG going to do? Because if they make a decision to move away from Neymar, which could be the case, could not, we'll see how that works out, you need somebody who stepped right into that position. You also have a guy in Angel Di Maria who, although he's been playing well, he's no longer playing as a winger. He's more playing of a central midfielder type role because, let's, let's be honest, he's getting a little bit older. And so he's not the long-term option there either. And so you have Kylian Mbappe on one side, and then on the other side, do you have Neymar? And if you don't have Neymar and he's not part of your plans, which is something that you have said in the past, and maybe you move him away from that, then Jaden Sancho would be quite an alternative if you were to consider what the potential is for Jaden Sancho and what his ceiling is. So I think it does make sense for PSG to at the very least say, okay, we got to decide what we're going to do with Neymar. But once we decide that, then we have to have a plan in place and Jaden Sancho could be very much part of that plan. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel's talked about that club needing to make difficult decisions in January, but not wanting to alter too many things right now because he feels the group's getting on well. But Obviously, the Neymar mm -hmm. elephant in the room still needs resolving. It's a big elephant. It certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's your number one for Jadon Sancho, then? So you know that part about the Premier League and I've been Premier League since... <laughs> I, I wondered about yeah. that. Yeah. Forget, forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say United. And if there's ever a team in, in this list, in any list that you want to put together that needs young talent, exciting talent in key positions, in, in game-changing positions, is Manchester United. Now, they seemingly... Uh, are a team that are taking the approach of, we are going to nurture young talent. This is how we're moving forward. This is how we're going to improve and become the Manchester United that people are expecting us to become. Well, if you're looking for young English talent that can make a difference right now, right this very second, well, Jaden Sancho could very well be that answer. And so Manchester United, I think, no question, no doubt about it, would be the team in most need and would be the team that would make the most sense for both Jaden Sancho and Manchester United. There is a need from both, there is a need to improve for both, and I do think that it really seems like it's, it's a no-brainer for Manchester United. If, if indeed the deal is out there and Jaden Sancho feels like maybe his time in Dortmund is coming to an end, 
Let me tell you something, this looks quite nice. Daniel James on one side, Jaden Sancho on the other, yeah. Rashford and Greenwood through the middle. Yeah? Yeah, it's looking good. You take a bit. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. Now, long term, you think, okay, there is a lot of potential here now. Whether the, that potential materializes, that's different. But in terms of making decisions based on what the future may look like, that's quite nice for Manchester United. Okay, so he couldn't pass up the Premier League in the end. <laughs> he knows where his bread is buttered. Uh, does Jaden Sancho, though, uh, three years at Borussia Dortmund, will it be three and done? <sighs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.